So, here is my video on Byzantine style inspired lamellar armor. This is a test version I made, uh, and this is one of the plates I made for the armor. It's a bit shorter than average, it's about 10 cm by 5 cm, but majority of the plates are 12 cm by 5 cm. And here's the metal sheet I'll be using to make the armor. It's about 1 mm thick, sharp edges, but uh, as you can see, it's thick enough for the armor. 1 mm I think is as thin as you can go. And unfortunately, iron, as you might all know, rusts quite easily. This is the sheet I left out a few days without cover, and it's completely rusted over. So it begins. Now I'm cutting the metal into small strips. I'm using my bare hands and metal cutting uh, shears, because unfortunately I don't have a lot of power tools yet. And use my bare hands and a few tools I got to work it. Uh, unfortunately this method makes a lot of wibbly wobbly shaped metal plates, so I need to flatten them out. As much as I try to flatten them, some wibbly wobbliness still remains. But I think it gives it character and flavor, so I don't mind it that much. After I flatten those plates, I use a weird little technique that I made up. I wrapped those plates up in duct tape, so I could later easily wrap them up and drill the holes into them. You'd imagine, if I drilled holes individually in those plates, it would take me a lot of time and effort. This way, I could make more consistent plates and more of them at the same time. And it's not as pretty visually, but I think it does the job well. This way it might take much longer to drill the individual holes, but it saves up in effort in aligning those. You have to each individually mark them, you would imagine if I made it one by one. And uh, the holes might not align as much in this way. So now we get more symmetrical shaped plates. Then I have to cut the edges off so I don't cut myself or... So I cut up the corners so I don't cut my hands on the edges. I would like to round those edges up but unfortunately I don't have power tools necessary to do this. So it's now time to put the metal on the leather. I use two-sided tape to hold it in place for while I work on it, because without it plates uh, often move around and holes don't match up in the leather uh, while I put them on. I try to keep some little space in between the plates, because it would be more flexible, I think. Now I make holes in the leather, I try to use hole punches before, but it was much more easier to individually drill those holes in where exactly I knew the plates would be rather than mark them and later punch holes into them and it would it wouldn't fit perfectly now I'm using two-sided rivets rather than nail rivets because it's much easier to work with them and it creates more uniform shape rather than nail rivets I think and it's much shinier and smoother when hammering it out. Now, after I put all the metal on all the leather, I made them in appropriate shape uh, to fit my body, I need to lace them up using leather lacing. The technique I use I created through trial and error. I much prefer lacing uh, two and two together rather than lacing them up uh, as I go along because every time I put more and more onto the each other it becomes much heavier and more cumbersome. This style of armor making has its pluses and minuses. As you can imagine, gaps between metal is a weak point so leather and chainmail uh, underneath is needed with this type of armor. Different styles of lamella making 
overlap me metal bits as much as possible so there won't be any gaps in between but this style of armor making uh, this style of byzantine lamella is more flexible and is meant to be worn with males so it all balances each other out this lacing up though takes a lot of uh, time and energy as you can imagine it's quite exhaustive and it quite takes a lot of mental strength to do this unfortunately after a while as i said iron rusts and my whole armor rusted without me knowing i left them out i thought they were covered up oiled up and it wouldn't rust as quickly but unfortunately it completely rusted over i scraped it off uh, used vinegar used everything in my pasta that i could but every time I cleaned it, it rusted over immediately. So I decided to put lacquer on top. Three layers of it. It's not as pretty, unfortunately. Uh, the remnants of rust still remains, but I hoped it would save it. Okay, now it is time to put the final bits on. And that's the uh, leather belts that will hold it on my body. I decided to put leather strips and belt buckles on the edges of the armor on the last plates but later realized this would leave a gap in between my armors underneath my shoulders i should have put the strips on the plate before the edge of the armor so that those plates would overlap and i wouldn't have a gap underneath my shoulders unfortunately i don't even know how, even after I put lacquer on it, I uh, varnished it, I polished it, I put leather, everything I could, the armor somehow still rusted over. I don't even understand how, because I thought uh, lacquer would insulate it and not air and other pollutants in to rust the armor, but unfortunately, as you can see, it's almost completely brown. I don't even understand what happened, where I went wrong, but that's the whole learn learning process, I think. Live and learn, I guess.